Hello there! You want to program a nice little soundboard with all basic functions like playing sounds, sharing them, set them as ringtone, add favorites, or playing sounds, then you found the right video. In this tutorial series I will show you how to program such a little soundboard. But before we start with some basic information about the technical aspects, please let me tell you a little bit more about this tutorial. So the tutorial is based on my soundboard app I programmed over the last couple of months or even the last year that features some funny sentences from a German YouTuber called Hand of Blood and that will hit its 100,000 downloads in a while. And yeah, when I programmed it, I did a lot of research to get my code together. And it's probably not the best code. Uh, but before each video, I really try to highly improve uh, the code for this tutorial. So what I want to say uh, is that this is most definitely not the best programming tutorial. But it works pretty fine overall for a soundboard tutorial. And I will try my best to explain everything, but also keep it as short as possible. Because I think the code is quite simple. Well, definitely until uh, we get to build in the favorites. But if my little explanations in the videos are not good enough for you, you can find a GitHub repository in the description down below that contains all important code samples that you need for this soundboard with a lot of comments to explain it. Uh, also keep in mind the repository is based on the latest video from the German tutorial playlist. Well enough with the not so important things, let's go on into the technical aspects. So the code shown in this tutorial will work for all Android versions from 4.2 up to Android 6.0. It should work for Android 7, but I do not guarantee that it will work completely flawless. So what programs do you need? Well, since Android is based on Java, it's good to have the latest Java version installed. But on the other hand, a lot of things come with our uh, programming environment that is called Android Studio. I'll put a link to the Android Studio homepage in the description, but I think I don't really need to explain how to install it properly because there are thousands of good English tutorials on that one. Although, if you have an older smartphone or you don't want to test your app on your own smartphone, look for tutorials on how to set up the included Android emulator in Android Studio. Now to the more useful programs. If you want to create your own button design, you uh, you need a graphics program like GIMP or even Photoshop. I did mine with Photoshop and well they're pretty simple but you can you can do a lot with Photoshop and yeah you can design very nice buttons. Well and when we want to add sounds to our soundboard we probably have to cut them so we need an audio program and there's an open source program called Audacity and it's really good to cut sounds or improve them so you should definitely take a look on that one. So if you have Android Studio already installed we can now proceed to create our project. Do some changes and after that you're free to take a little break. So. I started my Android Studio and we want to start a new Android Studio project. Here I can 
select my application name. I'm gonna name it soundboard underscore ENG. You can name yours like you want to. Uh, but yeah, that's for, for me to keep in order. Then the company domain, you can, if you have a website for your developer account, you can put that in there. I just put my uh, developer name in there with some dots. Uh, the project location is good, then click on next. So we will focus on programming for phones. Um, tablets are also included here, but, but we will focus on phones. With the minimum SDK version of API 17, Android 4.2. Click on next. So we now can select our basic design for the first activity. We'll use just an empty activity and we will name it soundboard activity. You also have to put in backwards compatibility called app compat. We will use that in the next video to, to include our custom toolbar. So I'll click on finish. Let's wait for it. So the project was built and we can see our first activity here. Um, before we compile it and run it on our emulator device, uh, we will do uh, some changes. Like there are two folders called Android test and test. Those are for some frameworks where, where you can write code to test your app. We won't do that here. You can leave it in, but I don't do that a lot and I don't need it. So I will just delete it. Go and show that in my explorer. Come here, so uh, source, just delete and te Android test and test. So that won't show up here again. Um, but we also have to delete some lines in our build gradle if we delete the test and Android test folders, like this one, test instrumentation runner, delete. Android test compile, we don't need that one, and test compile. So, um, and here is another thing we can delete, because this one is from Android 7. It's a nice little layout. You can do a lot with that, but we will just use a normal relative layout, so we can delete that, we don't need that. And, before we will sync that, we have to change our layout a little bit because here it is again, constraint layout. That will be deleted and we'll fill that with a relative layout. Then those four parameters can be deleted too. So if we sync that now, we won't get any errors. Okay. So if we take a little look into the Gradle, you can see that the build tools are on the Android 7 version uh, called API 25. That's because the Android Studio version, the newest, won't really allow to use uh, use older versions. That is what I experience. And yeah, but the target SDK version and the compiled SDK version is 23 and that's Android 6.0. So we can just try to start our app with our AVD eh, or ADB, sorry. <laughs> So that took a moment and here it is our first 
app <laughs> is uh, the default hell world in it and the title of the app so I don't want to show the real title here like soundboard underscore ing I just want to show soundboard for that one I will change something in the manifest uh, here in the activity soundboard activity I will put another parameter there called label and I don't really want to hard code that for that I will go we will go into the resource folder values strings XML and there is our app name you can change that one too but I will just define another string called um, main underscore label and I will set that to just soundboard and then I can reference it here uh, at it's called at yeah at string <laughs> main label so if we rerun that we will get our title in the app. So that is soundboard. So you can definitely do a lot of things here in the manifest, but we will look on that in another video, I think. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And now, Bye-bye.